School basketball action up north. Scott Catholic girls trying to stay perfect and playing pious. We start in the third quarter. Good ball movement by the Skyhawks. Victoria Van Dyke to Madison Livingston ties it up at 26. Scott fans are loving it. To the fourth quarter, a bolts. McKenna Layshock drives in for two. Pious, though, they're still down 30 28, but it was the Skyhawks down the stretch. Presley Douglas to Addison Burt. Scott still unbeaten 49, 45 39. And right here in town, Bishop Newman visiting Lincoln Lutheran for the Centennial Conference Tournament. Second quarter, good ball movement here from the Warriors. Ball gets down low and Jordan Ertzmeyer gets one to go off the glass. And Lincoln Lutheran adds their lead here. Abby Wackel finds Caitlin Oxley who finishes off the glass for two. And before halftime, Shanae Burke, no hesitation, takes one straight to the rim. Warriors led by seven at halftime and go on to win this one 28-14. Here are some girl scores. Norris just barely tops Bennington 37-36. York takes down Crete 43-36. And a close one up north, but Fremont beats Lincoln Southwest 49-45. Into the boys' action, Class B number one, Scott Catholic also playing host to Lincoln Pius X. Second quarter, Bolts Jackson Kessler drives and scores. Pius, though, still down 24-22 at half. To the third, Skyhawks Grant Dvorak for three, and it's good. Ties things up at 27, and Scott fans, they're fired up. Later in the same quarter, more Skyhawks and more Dvorak. He drains another deep ball. Scott stays unbeaten with the 56-51 win. And out west, before the game, the Kearney Catholic Stars honored head coach Robert Langan, who reached 100 wins on Saturday, and his players ready to earn him another, making it rain from deep early. Turner Plug drains one from the corner, then Brett Mahoney is left all alone and cashes in from behind the arc. Kearney Catholic held a 9-2 lead early, but Lincoln Lutheran says, I see your two triples and raise you two more. First, Logan Lebo nails the shot from three-point range. Then it's nothing but net for Johnny Pels as this made it a one-point game. But just as the Warriors looked like they would take a lead after Max Bartles makes a steal, Garrett says not so fast, denying the fast break layup. Carney Catholic would advance to the semifinals with a 63-50 win. And for the boys' scores, it took two overtimes, but Aurora topped Northwest. Norris fell to Bennington by six, and Seward beat Crete 50-45.